Hello grade 11 and welcome to the second video on the electric field. In this video we're going to speak specifically about how you can calculate the strength of an electric field or sometimes we can refer to the magnitude of an electric field. When we measure the strength of an electric field we measure it at a specific point. A point that is a certain distance away from or towards a certain charged particle. We say that the electric field strength at a point is the electrostatic force experienced per unit positive charge placed at that point. In other words, if we would like to determine how strong an electric field is, we will take a positive test charge and we will place it at a certain point in that electric field. To make better sense of this definition, we're going to look at the two formulae that you are provided with to calculate the magnitude of the electric field strength. We have formula number one, which says that E, the electric field, is equal to F for force divided by Q for charge. You will notice that in equation one and equation two, I've used different colors to represent Q. That is because the Qs here are not the same thing. In some textbooks, instead of using a capital Q here, they use a small Q. Please don't get confused. So let's start off with equation number one, or formula number one. We say that in order to determine the strength of an electric field, for example, a distance of one meter away from it, what we're going to do is we're going to take another charge Q, and we're going to put that charged particle in the electric field of the electric charge, for example, this positive charge at the center, whose electric field strength we would like to measure a distance one meter away from it. Okay, so we take our test charge Q and we're going to put it over here, one meter away from this positive charge. When we put the test charge at this point, we know firstly the charge that this test charge possesses and we measure that charge in Coulomb. Secondly, we will be able to measure how much force this charge experiences. We take that force measured in Newtons and we plug it into the formula. We take the charge on this test charge and we place it here in the formula. And then we are able to calculate the strength of the electric field of this charge one meter away from it. Since force is measured in newtons and charge is measured in coulomb, we say that the electric field strength is measured in newtons per coulomb. Although this is not the SI unit for electric field, it is the unit that we will use in grade 11 and in grade 12. Now we can take a look at the second formula. The second formula looks a little bit different and as I said to you, here the Q does not represent the same thing. The Q here I have filled in in blue because this Q is the charge on the actual charge whose electric field we would like to measure. So let's say you know how big this charge is you're going to measure it in Coulomb and you're going to plug it into the formula in the place of Q. If we would like to know what the electric field of this charge is, a distance one meter away, so at that specific point, in place of R, which represents distance, we're going to put one meter. So we're going to put a one in over there. Distance must always be measured in meters. K is just the proportionality constant that you also use to calculate the magnitude of the electrostatic force using Coulomb's law. So you will plug these values in and then you will be able to calculate how strong the electric field is. Very important here is that you will choose which formula to use based on how much information you've been given. What you must not confuse is what Q you're going to put in this place and which Q you put in this place. The Qs in the formulae are different. The Q on the left is the test charge that we are using to see how much force it experiences. 
and the Q on the right is the actual charge whose electric field we are trying to measure. The electric field belongs to this charge. Even this electric field, it belongs to this charge. I hope that that makes sense.